Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment, it's your boy Marvin. We're going to get straight into a video by Andrew Tate explaining why men should never get married um, uh, on the podcast Adam uh, Sosnick. Let's get straight on with the video and we'll comment as we go. You know, one day you come home, your dad comes up to you and says, Andrew, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. And he's yeah. out, right? In the context of what happens when there's a conflict and we all react in three different ways, fight, flight, freeze. Yeah. In that context, your dad is flight. Yeah. He runs off and says, I don't want to deal with it. I'm out of here. I'm going to do my own thing. Okay. Yeah. In America, a lot of that is happening right now, where it's a single, family, single parent household. Yeah. Kids are being raised without a mom and dad being there, and it's just one mom. That is hard. When there's one mom bringing up kids, it is very, very difficult to her to concentrate on sometimes all the kids, especially if it's a lively boy as well. I can completely agree with that. It's tough. And I think that the, 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 the boy sometimes don't get the same treatment as the girl because obviously the, the boy can look after himself a lot more than what the girl can. It's just human nature. Um, it is art. I think um, a lot of women who bring up seeing single kids, I think they do fabulously and the, the best they can. And I tr truly respect that because it's not easy. You know, mom trying to do both, and yeah. these boys, you know, yeah. my mom couldn't tell me what to do from a very, once my parents got a divorce, yeah. I'm a single mother raising me, I'm seeing my dad every other week, so yeah. it's not like he has direct influence to discipline me yeah. until I went into the military. Yeah. How much of that, like if you were to go back and think about, what if your dad didn't take the flight approach? What if your dad took the fight approach? What if your parents were together? Would it have made a difference in you, and how do you view you know, the idea of fathers being there with mom and dad together, family nucleus, family nucleus, because a lot of times, you know, the marriage no longer has, you know, the, 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 what it once had, you know, yeah, like yeah. kids are better off being raised with a mom and dad. How do you process that yourself? Cause you became successful not being in that environment. Correct. So do you see this as well? It depends. There's exceptions to the rule. How do you process it? I think it's a fantastic environment, and I think in an idealistic world, that's the way it would be. I think the reason it's not happening today is that I don't think many men actually benefit from marriages or relationships anymore. And people are always going to have to do, require some degree of incentive. I would have said um, it's marriage now is not like before, where it was more of a commitment, more of love. I think now it's more of security for both men and the women, especially if they're in um, good jobs as well. I think, it's, to be honest with you, a lot of people don't split up, I think, because they've got too much going on together, so they just tend to go through it. Um, it, lets, it lets the love have truly gone, this is what I think. Um, it is something uh, different. I don't always think that Andrew Tate says the right thing about marriage because if you truly love someone and someone truly supports you and you want to get married, then you should at the end of the day. But I can understand marriage has changed a lot now. Um, I don't think it's got the values it once had. That's my point. I think that we've set up the world now in a way where men are seen as worker droids. They're expected to go work all day, come home, uh, clean up as well, share the cleaning with the woman, not have any, not, no meal prepared for them, not have any authority over the household, and just, and just be a worker droid and be a sad. And I don't think that many people understand that men are intrinsically wired to desire respect amongst our peers and in our environments. This is why CEOs work so hard because they get respect in their company. This is why we all want so much money and fast cars and status and influence because we're respected. Men desire respect like we desire oxygen. And if a man's coming home to a household where he doesn't feel any respect, he's not gonna wanna be there for very long. And I think the way you fix this is you need to understand that many men don't have an incentive to be in the house anymore. I, I think that it's actually would be quite easy for a woman 
In fact, there's a couple women who even say this on YouTube. I can't remember their names, but it'd be quite easy for a woman to make a man really happy with super basic things. Just go up to your husband and say, hey, you know more about this. What do you think about this? That would make most men's world. And there's so many sexless marriages out there with men who work their ass off and they come home to a sexless marriage and kids don't fucking even like it. If you were to just even ask him this question about some asinine bullshit, a lawnmower purchase, he would feel so happy to feel like the man of the house. That's what men need. They need to feel like all this work I'm putting in, all this shit I'm going through, I'm respected for it. As soon as a man feels like he has no respect, that's the absolute end of, of a man's interest or a man's tolerance of the situation. I think that's the reason it's happened. I think I know a lot of men who completely love their wives. They love them with all their heart. They die for her. But he's just not respected in his house. He doesn't get to be the man of the house. Is it on him or is it on her? Like, does he need to go earn it or is it on her to provide it? It's a combination of both. I think it's certainly on him to earn it. But also the matrix programming is counter to him. The matrix programming is trying to tell him that he shouldn't be allowed to be the man of the house. That he should. Mm -hmm. um, I think the system's changed a lot where I don't think women are a big part of the world now and they don't need sometimes i wouldn't say man's support but a woman can go out now and do what a man can do um get a high powered job earn a lot of money sometimes way more than what the man does so i don't think the the, the woman now is um just independent on the man now she can have her own career path and then choose who she wants to be with of high status which is fair enough it doesn't have to be high status but if she's doing well for herself she wants the guy um to not basically uh, drain her money should i say or um uh just be a bit of a drip or someone who just works nine to five for 30 grand a year she probably want a little bit more than that it's just the way society have changed um i don't think people uh, are now a dependent on other people like they were before, whether male or female. Shouldn't be allowed to have any kind of authority in any regard. You shouldn't be allowed to be able to say what happens. The matrix programming is saying the absolute opposite all the time. And if that's getting into your woman and you don't have that much influence and that's getting to all your children, you don't have that much influence. Now you're coming home to a household where everyone just thinks you're the dude who should just fucking work. You're just a worker droid. You're the slave. You're the robot. And your feelings don't matter and your authority doesn't matter and get fucked. And this is, this is very conscious. If you watch any Netflix show, the mother is the smart one, and the man is the bumbling idiot. Turn on a show. I dare you, turn on a family show. The mother is the one, hey, hey, calm down, I'm smart. And the man's the look, oh, beer. Watch any of these shows. They're trying to the all, all of it, all of it, any, any of it, all of it. They're reducing, they're reducing the man to just a bumbling idiot. And it's very hard, I think, for a lot of men to accept being in a position of constant disrespect. I'll tell you this now. If I had to choose a long-lasting marriage with a woman who loved me, or a woman who truly respected me, I might choose respect over love. Even though they're the same thing for a woman because she, she loves you, she respects you by default. But if I had to choose, I'd choose respect. I've been through too much and worked too hard and go through too much in day-to-day -day life to come home to my house and be having battles over asinine bullshit. I take care of you and I love you with all of my heart. I would die for you. If someone broke into this house, I would engage the invader and die. I'd please just cook dinner, please. <laughs> what do you want from me? What more can I do for you? Like, and once they feel disrespected, this is another thing about the world that a lot of people don't understand. It's disrespect that will drive a man to the most heinous of crimes. It's disrespect that starts the school shooter bullshit. It's disrespect that makes men go to jail for life sentences. It's disrespect. When you truly disrespect a man in a public and permanent way, that's when they switch. That's why I'm so respectful in public. You don't know who the fuck you're talking to. He might be on his last fucking straw and you're just disrespected. Hey, you're a fucking bitch anyway. You're skinny motherfucker. Fuck you. You don't know. That might be the last time you heard it. I've had enough. You don't know. Disrespect is very true. Very true. I think um, respect is something that needs to be earned, but it seems to be a lost art. Um, especially for the next generation and what's going on in this world. And I think people, ever since or after COVID, things haven't been the same. I think it has affected people mentally. 
And the only way you're going to get out of it is by keeping yourself busy, motivated and planning and being around good people. That helps. It's dangerous, right? And in a household where you're constantly disrespecting a man, he's going to end up depressed and sad for even accepting. Men just want to feel respected. It's not that hard to do. If a woman, if you truly, I say to anyone watching this, if you truly love your man, it would be so easy for you to just make him feel respected. It doesn't even take actions. You can do it with basic words. Ask his opinion on something, big him up once in a while. And because we're supposed to be Superman and we purport ourselves as Superman and we're stoic, but we talked earlier about how we still feel everything. So when you're a strong man, especially, they're like, ah, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Be nice to the dude. You'd be surprised how far you get. But this is why I think most men walk out of marriages because they're like, you know what? I'm not getting any respect here. I get more respect from this dickhead stripper, 18 year old hoe for throwing money at her than I do giving money to my own wife. Where am I being respected? Well, at least she's smiling at me. She ain't smiled at me in years. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch the entire podcast, click over here. I think Andrew Tate um, does make some good points. Um, I think you do get toxic marriages, but I think you get very good ones as well. But I do think to tell people that um, don't get married, um, I think that's wrong because there are still special people getting married and or have been in marriage a long time or new marriages which are still bright and the light's still shining. It's whatever you think and whatever you want out of life. Um, don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment. Do you think Andrew Tate's right? Um, leave your messages in the comment. Let's talk about it. What do you think? Um, I don't agree. Uh, I agree sometimes um, relationships can go wrong. Men can be disrespected. Women can be disrespected. I think it goes both ways. Uh, but if something's not working, then you've got to try and mend it before you let it go for good. Yeah, let me know your points on that, on Andrew Tate and um, what he said about marriage. Basically, he's trying, he's saying basically, don't get married, you'll be happier for it. But the way the world is, um, I sort of agree and not agree um, as well. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment to support your boy Marvin. Thank you. Bye. Wherever you are in the world.